got starting off I'm using this orange tone from the Morphe 35W palette and I'm using a Luxie 205 whoa 205 tapered blending brush So at first I'm going to show you in like normal speed how much I'm actually blending my eyeshadow out and the process that it takes to get it to looking smooth and not splotchy or having any harsh lines or anything and then I'm going to show you in fast motion the other eye or any extra blending. So now I'm using ColourPop Central Perk and this eyeshadow is really awesome. It's super pigmented and it's only $5. So head on over there and get you some girl. So I'm just putting this on the inner and outer corner and then kind of making like that halo eye look with a bridge top rainbow looking thing and blending that together but making it more pigmented on the inner and outer half. And then really blending that out. Here I'm just using that kind of dark plummy color from the Morphe 35W palette and just placing that over the central perk color and you want to place a little bit and then blend it out and then place a little bit more color you don't want to do it all at one time because it will get dark and it will be hard to blend out Here I'm just using a clean fluffy brush to blend out those edges. Now taking an even darker plum shade from that same Morphe 35W palette, placing that on the inner and outer corner just to deepen it up. Um, just place it down and blend it. That's really the only advice I can give. Just blend. 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 This clip will eventually come into focus. My backdrop just wanted to seal the show. Using that same fluffy brush and that is from BH Cosmetics. Don't really know, we don't have a number. But it's fluffy and it's clean and you want to blend. So now I'm just taking Lala from ColourPop and it's a beautiful rose gold shade with a little bit of a shimmer metallic -y top finish. And you just want to put that in the center of the eyelid and then kind of blend in the front and the back. Here I'm using Mooning from ColourPop and I'm just using that on the outer corners of the eye just to darken them up a little bit. And just using a Sigma E25 to blend out the edges. Going in with a bit more of that La La shade just to brighten it up a little bit and blend in with that Mooning shade. Now I'm putting on my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC15 with my Sigma F80 brush and I'm just going to blend that all over my face. 
And I am aware that this foundation looks way too light for my skin in this video, but I promise I'm actually that fair. Using my new favorite, NYX Cosmetics Gotcha Covered Waterproof Concealer in the shade Light. This stuff is full coverage, waterproof, you name it, it's gotcha covered. Now I'm using the NYX Cosmetics HD Concealer in the shade Porcelain just to highlight my face. And I did spray my sponge with MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the shade Light. And I'm using that Havana shade, which is the darkest contour shade in the palette, to contour my face. And the brush that I'm using is the Morphe M173 brush. I actually got all the Morphe brushes that I use in this video from the Morphe Me brush um, subscription thingy where you pay $20 a month and you get the brushes or whatever. Well, it's definitely worth the 20 bucks because I got like eight different brushes and I love them all. So, new tip, when you're doing your nose, you actually want to do the lines thinner than the actual sides of your nose. That way you technically contour and make your nose look slimmer. And then, I am putting the bottom a little bit higher than the actual bottom of my nose to make it look shorter. I'm just blending that out with the other side of my Real Techniques sponge. So it does take a little longer to blend out a cream contour, but just be patient and just keep blending. You don't want any harsh lines. So blend as much as possible. Here I'm just using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to put that all over where I highlighted first. And then after that kind of sits for a second, I'm just going to put that same powder all over my entire face. That way my powders blend easier on top of the creams. And then I'm just going to kind of pat the bake into my skin. That way there's not any extra and it's not going to sit in there any longer to kind of crease or make my foundation look thick. Now I'm just using Bahama Mama from the balm to contour with and I'm using the Sigma F05 brush and it is my absolute favorite contour brush. It just fits perfectly right in the hollows of my cheek. I'm using Melba by MAC and I'm using the Duo Fiber Blush Brush by Sigma, the F15, to apply that. Here I'm spraying my brush with the 
MAC Fix Plus and I'm using the Morphe M176 brush to apply my highlighter and the highlighter I'm using is the Anastasia So Hollywood and I'm just going to apply that everywhere over and over because I want to look something like a disco ball. So I'm just going to keep applying that because look at it. Oh yeah girl, work it, work it. Now I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Medium Deep just to set my brow hairs, make sure they stay in place all day and don't go anywhere. And this is waterproof, so if you were to smudge your brow or sweat or swim, it's not going to come off. Now using that same orange shade from the Morphe 35W palette, I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes to smoke out my bottom lash line. And you want to take this from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. Now using Central Perk, again, I'm smoking out the bottom lash line and just kind of darken it up to make my lashes look thicker. Now I'm going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone with that Anastasia So Hollywood highlighter. And I used this brush earlier to apply that Lala and Mooning shade. This is the Japanese 213. Now using my favorite mascara of all time, this is Benefit Roller Lash, and I did this in normal motion so that you can see like actually how I apply it and how long it takes me to apply one coat of mascara. Now I'm using NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. This one is my fave. And this was my Valentine's Day inspired look. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe.